church, welcome to Church of Praise. Are you ready to worship God? Because we are. Let's go!
waiting for change to come Knowing the battle's won For you have never failed me yet Your promise still stands Great is your faithfulness Your faithfulness I'm still in your hands This is my confidence You've never failed me yet I know the night won't last Your word will come to Jesus, you're still enough. Keep me within your love. My heart will sing your praise again. Oh, yes, it will. Your promise still stands.
you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the well? Jesus is calling. you love us remind us remind us oh lord that you are always there no matter what to pick us when we fall oh lord lord we want to keep running this race and keep running to you thank you lord thank you lord 
Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we know that forgiveness is redeemed for all of us, oh Lord. Lord, you have redeemed us. Thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for us and giving us life eternal, something that anything on earth can never buy, oh Lord. Lord, we are so blessed to be called your children. Lord, we pray as we go through the days of life that sometimes may seem a routine or chore, Lord, let us remind ourselves, Lord, that you are the Almighty God who is in control. You are the Almighty God who will continue to oversee everything that we do and take care of us. Lord, you will continue to provide. You will continue to heal. You will continue to speak. And you will continue to feel and love. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we want to come to you, Lord, just as we are at the altar. And Lord, we want to bow down before you and surrender everything to you. Thank you, Lord. You are so good to us. We love you, Lord. We pray for the service, O oh Lord, and everything that we're about to hear from you. Speak to us today. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, we love you. In Jesus' most precious name, all God's children say, Amen. God bless you. Good morning, church, and I greet you another blessed Sunday. Praise God for that beautiful praise and worship. Thank you, Sis Melissa and team, for leading and ushering us in worship. I am Daphne, your announcer today, and I greet you and I will welcome you to our church online service. If this is your first time joining us online, please type I'm new in the comment section. We have several announcements today. For our giving of tithes and offering, you may give via online, do it now, direct bank transfer or touch and go with the details you see on your screen. Please do not forget to indicate the purpose of giving under the details if it is for tithes, building fund, or mission fund. Non-members are under no obligation to give. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we come to you with humility and joyful hearts. We want to honor you with our tithes and offerings, with gladness in our hearts, thanking you as the source and giver of everything we have. Thank you for sustaining and for giving us the ability to earn and produce wealth, even at this challenging time when life isn't how it used to be before the pandemic. Thank you for enabling us to adapt to whatever challenges and trials that come our way. We acknowledge that it is because of your sustaining grace, healing, and provision that we are able to remain strong and steadfast in you. Lord, may you continue to provide for us abundantly and bless the work of our hands and our church ministry for your kingdom and glory. We also want to lift up to you our service and may your word minister to us in a very special way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Many of us are part of cell groups where we are taught, strengthened, and encouraged by the Word of God and with our daily testimonies. If you also would like to join a cell group where you can be comfortable with and develop a deeper relationship with our church family, please do not hesitate to contact us or you may refer to the list on our website www.churchofpraise.org.my slash cellgroups for more information. We also would like to uphold you in prayers. If you have prayer requests, please contact us at our number. Rest assured that we keep your prayer requests private and confidential. For our last Sunday sermon recap, Brother Jean Gaviola shared with us a message about missions entitled, God's heart for the nations. He emphasized the importance and purpose of mission and our God as a missionary God. Brother Jin, together with his wife, Sister Joy, and daughter Shekinah, used to serve as a missionary family in Bolivia. They completed their two years assignment there and are now back to Miami, Florida, where they will be spending some time to rest before going home to the Philippines. Being a missionary himself, 
his sermon and their testimony as a family has been impactful and inspirational. If you want to catch this sermon, you may find it in YouTube or Facebook. Today, our speaker is the senior pastor of Canaan Church, Sri Hartamas, Kuala Lumpur, and an ordained minister with the Assemblies of God of Malaysia. He is a strong and passionate disciple of Jesus, and his ministry has taken him to many countries, sharing the gospel, especially within the Southeast Asia region. He will be sharing with us a very valuable sermon entitled, Be Vigilant. Let us now prepare our hearts and minds to receive God's word through Pastor Daniel Law. Hello, Church of Praise. What a great joy that we are able to gather online in the name of Jesus Christ. Greetings from Canaan Church. And first of all, I'd like to thank your pastor, Pastor Michael Yeo, Sister Irene, and together with the leaders of the church for giving me this opportunity again to share the Word of God with all of you. You know, honestly, I'm supposed to be with you physically, but because of this COVID-19 pandemic, I'm not able to be with you together with my wife, Karen. You know, we really miss coming to have fellowship with all of you in Church of Praise. And uh, I just pray that the Lord will continue to pour out His abundant blessings and favour to be upon each and every one of you. We thank God in every remembrance of you. We always remember you in prayer. You know, we really miss all of you. Today, I'd like to share with you this message entitled, Be Vigilant. It is taken from this text, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. And I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Follow along as I read this. It says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Be vigilant. The present COVID-19 pandemic has caused distress and headaches in many lives worldwide. It has caused havoc in various sectors like education, entertainment, business, sports, family, and even personal life. It causes mental stress emotional disorder, physical damages, and even spiritual setbacks. You know, closer to home, we heard of a guy whereby his brother and his mother both were infected by COVID-19. The reason being is that this guy, during the festive season, he went back to his hometown to have family gathering together, not knowing that he actually was infected by his colleague. And lo and behold, sad to say that when the news broke out, that all of them, family members, were infected by this COVID-19. And true enough, uh, the brother and the mother and family members, including him as well, all of them were hospitalized. And sad to say that later on, he realized that it was so, so serious to the point that uh, this COVID-19 has actually uh, has, has uh, caused both the brother and the mother to die. But also at the same time, we realized that it was sad. Why? Because he was not able to say farewell to both family members. In fact, there was another incident as well that an elderly pastor also passed away because of COVID-19. Both the daughter and the wife has to have to be quarantined and sad to say, you know, when both daughter and the wife heard about the news, the departure of, of the pastor, uh, they are not able to attend and even perform the funeral. 
You know, this is the cruel reality of what's happening because of COVID-19. Interestingly, as we think carefully, there are some similarities between the war against COVID-19 and the war against the devil, our enemy. Well, some of the similarities, you realize that both are real and invisible enemies. Both are dangerous and powerful. And both are out to disrupt and destroy our lives as well as our livelihood. You know, the Bible alerts us to Satan's subtle tactics and deceptions. How aware are we that we have an enemy whose main purpose is to weaken our faith and ultimately destroy us? Generally, Satan uses different tactics and takes advantage of the situation and circumstances to attack us when we are not duly vigilant. For example, some of those tactics are discouragement, discontentment, depression, deception, discord, distress, diseases, disasters, and even death itself. You know, even though we understand that God is all-powerful and cares for His children, we cannot afford to relax our guard spiritually. It is vital that we recognize that Satan, our enemy, is relentless and wants to destroy us spiritually. We have to be faithful in doing our part. Therefore, as a follower of Jesus Christ, we must be vigilant at all times. And to be vigilant means to be suspicious and alert of the lurking dangers by this spiritual enemy in our lives. The devil, according to the Bible, is on the prowl like a roaring lion waiting in the dark to pray and devour anyone who is not sober-minded and vigilant. In other words, in short, we really need to be mentally alert, self-controlled, watchful, awake, and alert. So the question now is, how can we be vigilant against the devil, our enemy? I'd like to share with you three thoughts and considerations Number one, let us be clear and do not have, do not be overconfident. Let us be clear and do not be overconfident. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, it says, For our struggle, or even for our battles, for our war is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. You know, as far as COVID-19 is concerned and to prevent ourselves from being infected, we are advised to avoid the three C's, confined places with pure ventilation, crowded places with many people nearby, or even close contact settings, such as close-range conversations. But it is sad to see that many are still assuming that they will not be infected by this virus. In fact, we heard of one couple who was so restless and think that, well, nothing will happen to them and always go shopping. And lo and behold, they were infected by this COVID-19. Even looking into the Bible as well, it tells us that we must not overestimate ourselves, we must not be, be overconfident, and we must be very clear as far as, as far as spiritual warfare against our enemy is 
concern. Before Jesus was uh, betrayed, the Bible tells us that Jesus told Peter and also the rest of the disciples, and especially to Peter, saying that Satan was coming after him and the others. Peter responded in Luke chapter 22, verse 33, he says, Lord, I am ready to go with you to both to prison and even to death. However, Jesus told Peter in verse 34, he says, I tell you, Peter, the rooster will not crawl this day until you deny three times, deny me three times, and then you will know me. You know, it is dangerous to think, it is really dangerous thing to underestimate the power of spiritual evil and to overestimate our ability to withstand it. It would be wise for us not to assume that we are his equals. If Peter could be pressed by the devil, by Satan to deny Jesus, there is no doubt that we could be as well. Without the protection of Jesus Christ, we have no hope of withstanding such an evil spiritual force. Therefore, friends, let us be vigilant and we must be clear and do not be overconfident, meaning do not overestimate yourself and do not be presumptuous. A deeper action steps I believe we can do is we must submit to God. You know, James chapter 4 verse 7 says, Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Many people just say, resist the devil. But if we do not submit to God, then we will not be able to resist him. You know, the second consideration, how we can be vigilant is, let us be careful and do not let your guard down. Be careful and do not let your guard down. Again, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, he says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour or destroy. The devil is always looking for those who are calloused in their spiritual life. The fiery darts of the devil come upon us when we are most vulnerable. If you recall and remember the story in 2 Samuel chapter 11, verses 11 to 15, that talks about David and Bathsheba. You know, the story of David and Bathsheba, tragic as it was, simply reveals to us the subtle power of temptation and the step-by-step -step progression into deeper sin. And the initial step happens to all of us. Temptation crosses our path every day. For David, it was sexual temptation. But maybe for us, it may be something else. David has resisted the temptations of power, fame, and wealth. And these so-called usual suspects did not corrupt him. But temptation came as David's weak point. He was a romantic. So the step to sin revealed in David's sad story are universal. Your weak point, my weak point, your emotional hotspot, my emotional hotspot may be different. It may be a temptation to money or power or selfishness or something else. So what are we to do in the face of temptation? The very simple thing is we must turn away and flee according to the scriptures. Again, during this pandemic, you know, the Ministry of Health in our country, Malaysia, has advised everyone not to take things for granted. And I'm sure you know we are advised to do three things. If you recall and remember the three W's, you know, wash your hands frequently with soap and water. 
or even use hand sanitizer if you can. Secondly, he says, wearing masks, especially in public places. And the third W says, warn others as well as yourself. You know, the following thing is avoid shaking hands or touching others, including bumping parts of the body in lieu of shaking hands. You know, practice good coughing and sneezing etiquettes. You know, seek early treatment if symptomatic. Stay at home. Don't go anywhere. Avoid from visiting others and even regularly clean and disinfect commonly touched surfaces in common areas. You know, those are advised, given to us. And all these safety measures are to be observed for our good and not to make life difficult. So likewise, we must be vigilant and watchful at all times so that we can stand against the devil's schemes or tactics. Last but not least, the third consideration of thought uh, prior to that, you know, the action step that we must take is we need to pray and apply the Word of God. As all of you know, you know, these are acts of spiritual, acts of uh, righteousness in order to be strong, in order to be vigilant. These action steps, I pray that uh, we will always uh, be consistent in our prayer life, always be consistent in terms of applying the Word of God. The third consideration, as I said, in order to be vigilant is let us be cautious and do not be ignorant of the devil's tactics. Be cautious and do not be ignorant of the devil's tactics. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11, it says, Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Well, our government is doing all they can to handle this COVID-19 situation. And I believe the key solution really is through the vaccination program to achieve the herd community as soon as possible. So may I encourage you, if you still doubt, if still hesitate not to take the vaccine, I pray that by the grace of God that you will not be fearful. Go and register yourself. Vaccination against the virus is good. But as we look into this spiritual warfare, vaccination against the virus is good, but it does not mean that we will not be infected, true or not. Similarly, just because we are a born-again Christian, does not mean that we will forever be protected from the attacks of the devil. Or just because we are Bible reading, praying Christians, church going we cannot assume that we cannot fall spiritually the bible warns us not to let satan outwit or outsmart us and not to be ignorant of his schemes or tactics according to second corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 so we must be cautious and we must not underestimate the works of the devil and the deeper action steps i believe is that will help us further is we must put on the whole full armor of god go back and read the scripture in ephesians chapter 6 we must daily put on the full armor of god and in conclusion i'd like to share with you this scripture 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 6 to 9, the New King James Version tells us, it says, Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith 
and love and as the helmet, the hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, friends, when we stay vigilant, when we are sober, when we are vigilant, you know, the positive results of being vigilant is that we will be solid in our faith. Do you want to be solid in God? You will be solid in your faith. And secondly, we will be strong in the Lord. Praise God. You know, and thirdly, we will have the sense of victory in our life. And I believe this is what we desire to have as a believer. Always be victorious. Always declaring and knowing that God is with us. If God is with us, who can be against us? So may I encourage you once again today, friends, let us be vigilant. Stay safe and stay vigilant in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us just look to the Lord in prayer at this moment. Wherever you are, I'd like you to just close your eyes and bow before the presence of God. As we have heard the word of God today, may I challenge as a reflection. Are you badly affected by this COVID-19 pandemic? Are you emotionally, mentally, and even spiritually affected? You know, if you are weak, may I encourage you, don't give up. Come to God, who is our constant help in times of trouble. God is the strength of our hearts. Let us be sober. Let us be vigilant. If God is with us, who can be against us? Romans chapter 12, verse 12 even says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. With God, life is an endless hope. Without God, life is a hopeless end. So today, as we come, we want to come with this sense of victory in our hearts. If you have a prayer request, May I encourage you wherever you are right now at home, present it to the Lord. Commit yourself to the Lord and say, God, in Jesus' name, I surrender myself to you. And pray and believe by faith that victory is with you. And today, dear God, I want to commit our brothers and sisters in Christ to you. For those who are struggling spiritually, I pray the Holy Spirit will just strengthen them and bring their freshness in the Spirit again. And Father, for those who are affected by COVID-19, be it in their business or be it in their family life or personal life, I pray, dear God, for your grace and mercy and added strength to come upon them. Lord, today we want to declare victory. Because we know that according to your word, you are with us. According to your word, Lord, we need to stay sober. We need to be vigilant. And Lord, as we carry on with this war, with COVID-19, even with the enemy, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, victory is with us. We want to declare victory over COVID-19. We want to declare oh, victory over the darts and the works of the enemy, the devil. Father, today we want to come before you. We thank you, Lord God, that is victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for Church of Praise. I thank you for Pastor Micah, the pastoral staff, the leaders of the church and the congregation. Lord, I pray for your bountiful blessing to be upon them. I pray for the shield of protection to be upon individuals wherever they are, dear God, that indeed they will be protected 
uh, from this COVID-19. Lord, at the same time, we pray that God, they will be protected from the darts of the enemy, the devil. Father, continue, I pray for pouring out your anointing, pouring out your bountiful blessing and favor and strength upon the church as well as the members of the church. Lord, bless church of praise tremendously, I pray, as I commit them to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope and pray that you have been blessed in many ways through our worship and through God's message. I would like now to end our service with a benediction. I declare and pray over you Ephesians 3.20 that says, With God's power working in us, He can do great things in our lives much, much more than anything we can ask or imagine. To Him be all the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. You may like us on Facebook or subscribe to us on YouTube and click the bell to receive notifications on our latest content. God bless and see you next time.